the theme of the work that's uh, ongoing in this building is really that it is translational research. The goal is to improve healthcare. The location right above the Gates Vascular Institute, a world-class clinical facility, is really critical and it's really only one of a few centers like this in the country. That allows the collaboration between clinicians and physician scientists to be seamless uh, and uh, to constantly encourage uh, that new ideas be tested. Much of our work focuses on uh, how the heart adapts to inadequate blood flow and how that may be involved in the development of digestive heart failure. And one of the areas that we're very interested in exploring and do preclinical work in is to try to use stem cells, uh, adult stem cells of various types, to repair the heart. Alzheimer's disease affects about six million people in the U.S. My goal is to try to identify certain signals in our genes uh, which would predict uh, who would get the disease so we can intervene in time and prevent the disease or slow progression. I hope I had a lot of impact on a lot of families and they can go on with their lives and they can enjoy their grandchildren graduating from college. That's, that's a really nice thing. It's going to take multiple proteins in order to make a vaccine that will prevent all the infections that we're trying to prevent in kids. My laboratory studies bacteria that cause infection in chronic lung disease and also uh, works on vaccine development to prevent uh, ear infections in children. But then when you see the people and you see uh, how they suffer and you see how the disease plays out, it really drives the questions that you ask in the laboratory. That's what can happen better in this center. We've been working with Toshiba for oh, over a decade. What we do is, is quite applied, and so getting it into a production and worldwide distribution is crucial. Invasive surgery is been being replaced by minimally invasive surgery. So our effort is to improve X-ray imaging, get higher resolution, and we've also been able to work on improving the actual devices that are used for interventions. One of the clinicians walked out of the treatment suite and said, you know, you just saved that patient a stent and months on Plavix. So that was very gratifying. And that was just the beginning of our investigation with this particular device. We expect a lot more of that sort of effect. This is just the first layer of what we envision as a much broader revitalization for UB and the communities we serve. The next phase of work following the CTRC will bring the School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences, which is under design now, across the street from a new medical office building and the Women's and Children's Hospital. Again, bringing education, research, and service together in a way that adds value to each one. I think healthcare, I think research, I believe education, all of those are the factors of the new economy. And I think we have a great beginning here of all these pieces starting to come together to really drive an economy that's different than one of the past. The CTRC uh, and the growth of the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus is a huge opportunity for Buffalo to recruit new leading scientists and new leading clinicians and physicians into the area. And the entire community will benefit from that.